Hi there, folks. This is Maureen from Color Me Positive, and thanks so much for picking up your coloring book and journal kit. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. I just wanted to create this video to show you how to make text that your audience can color in. And it's very simple and very quick to do, so it'll be a short video. Okay, so I'm just going to move this out of, out of the way. This is the first page in your coloring book, which you can change, totally delete, whatever you want to do with it. Just going to move this down here. Okay, so first you want to go to Insert, and then Text Box, and just draw in a text box wherever you like. And I'm going to type this in. Some things just fill your heart without trying. Now, I want this to be a bigger font, thicker font, so that when I outline it, there's actually a place for it to color in. Now, you can change the font if this shows up for you, that little menu there, but I usually go up here. So, you're on the home index here, and I'm going to use impact. That's what I used here. I use that because I figure most people have it on their system. You can use whatever you like. Uh, try to use a thicker font though, not the really thin ones because they're a little bit hard to outline. So there's impact. And let's make that 66 points. And I want it centered, so I'm going to come up here and just click on centered up here and okay so that's what you have now it's just the plain text right with the black so just highlight it again click on format over here and it'll bring this up now you want your text fill to be white which will make the text disappear don't panic though just go to text outline and click on the black or whatever color you want the outline to be, it's totally up to you. But if it's a coloring book, it's normally black and white. And there you have it. If you want to change the thickness of the line, you can do so here. It's at three quarters of a point here. So say you want it like really, really thick. I don't suggest that. I don't like the way it looks. I go with about a one and a half or two and a quarter, depending how thick you like your lines. And that's it. So real quick and real simple, and you can make make it more interesting by using different fonts. And I also here added a, a shadow to it because I like the way it looks when it's standing off the page. So you can do that or not, or you can just go in and edit the text that's already there. If you don't want the shadow, just go back to shadow and no shadow, and that'll take it away. And that's pretty much it for that. So if you have any questions um, or are curious about something else, just hit me up with an email or join us at our Facebook group and ask away. There's always somebody around that's willing to help out. All right, have fun.